Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Happy, yes, post 4th of July. And of course, the new reports are the unemployment record is falling. And people are laughing. Well, for now, what? You don't think that's true? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, I brought up flip flop Obama today and they around for all. This time, it actually could be because they're saying. Here it is, is any, okay, Obama would not even be in this election if anybody that anybody in the Republican Party actually supported was running in the election. I mean, as it is yesterday, they had to phrase this thing on a news item, our presumptive nominee needs to get on the same book as everyone else in the entire Republican Party. And our presumptive nominee is still just that, a presumptive nominee. Oh my, can you believe they're saying that about Romney? They don't want Romney. I mean, okay, the party never, okay, the party wanted Romney, the people never wanted Romney, and then Romney basically his, he is now on board with the Supreme Court called it a tax, not a penalty. And as a tax, Obama then cannot run on a non-taxing president because he's put the biggest tax in the history of the world on a group of people. And they say, well, it's only going to affect the people that are a small minority. No. Okay, the way it works is if you were paying $2,000 a year on your health insurance, and the amount of money that you make in income is more than uh, the amount where you were paying insurance. You've had your insurance rates raised on you. Isn't that amazing? And they're doing it because they said only those people that are not fairly paying their taxes will be hit. Mm -hmm. Which is anybody that isn't paying as much as 1-2% to 2 of their income. And San Diego fireworks go out with a bang. Well, well there was a reason for that because I, I got on video last night. The, because the cloud coverage was so low in order to, for people to see the fireworks, and they, they shouldn't have done it anyway because it's so low it's basically right over the top of houses, that they reset the fireworks and when they reset the fireworks somebody basically pushed the wrong button and didn't compensate for the resetting and it set off 16 minutes of fireworks in 15 seconds which was really great. But uh, the city, basically the insurance company covered, but they said people paid to see the fireworks display. Ooh. They're not a happy camp. Uh, I can't imagine that they are. Yeah. Paternal family says Penn State email release smears coach. Well, they're, they're doing everything they can to smear uh, paternal, and it is pissing off the people, the backers of the college, because um, first of all, I, I'm going to hate, I'm going to take hate to tell you this, but as the son of a police officer, I can guarantee you that it is not a crime to not report a crime. Basically, we live in a country that if you get involved in a crime, basically, um, we're going to try it this way. Years ago, I was unloading meat trucks, you know, uh, which I did to help pick up extra money. When you're working in entertainment business, you've got to do everything. And a crime, people started, they were, uh, had a football game, and they were ripping off cars, and I made the mistake of calling the police department about it. Mm -hmm. And guess what happened when I went in to testify? What? The uh, prosecuting attorney said, how long have you known the people that were doing the theft? Mm -hmm. They said, uh, why were you participating? Um, I told them, the, the, uh, the judge, uh, he's your witness. And he said, and then he got, oh! And then I left the room. I, they said, I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm, mm -hmm. I committed, I, I made a mistake. I called you people. And now you people are trying to convict me. The judge basically said, case dismissed. We have a, we have a, we have a district attorney that's an a-hole. I mean, here I am, I'm the witness to the crime, and he is trying to associate me with the criminals, which basically, they have no case because I, I said goodbye. And leftist candidate calls Mexico election results fraudulent. Most Mexican elections are fraudulent. And now, what, what's said, oh, What was okay, news? Here's how it is, they buy votes in Mexico, they'll give you, okay, you can buy a vote for a buck in Mexico, it costs more, it co basically, here in the United States, um, the Al Gore will tell you it costs you a, key, a box of cigarettes and a bottle of alcohol to buy a vote in the United States because we're more discerning than they are in Mexico. Syria running 27 torture centers, rights group. It's a Muslim country. What's unusual about that in a Muslim country? Uh, in a Muslim country, you know, they, they cut fingers off, hands, feet, chop your head off. If you break a law in a Muslim country, you generally get tortured. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that the place where it's an eye for an eye? 
It's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. If you if you're caught robbing, if you're caught being a pickpocket, they'll cut your hands off. And Bullet Train could shoot down Brown's tax initiative. Oh yeah, he's wanting to raise taxes because in order to build the first stage of the Bullet Train, he needs 2.2 billion dollars more than the state has, and the tax money that's going to be brought in will help ensure the government will provide $3 billion in funding for a train that goes nowhere and that no one wants because they didn't. It is now $66 billion and counting, and that's just to get it started. For basically, like the train, for instance, is never going to get built from Las Vegas to Victorville because it, it's going to save you an hour. Uh, yeah, but you've got to drive your car to Victorville. Leave your car in Victorville, get on the bullet train, go from Victorville to Las Vegas, which is never going to get approved because the, the Bureau of Land Management does not allow you to build on those properties and the Sierra Club will not allow it. And then when you get to Las Vegas, you have no transportation. So. And Wall Street, week ahead, can EU deal with stocks for more than a day? No, because, you, okay, stocks went up Friday, well, Tuesday on ridiculous news. I mean, today they're, they're bad because uh, no one buys the fact that the unemployment, everyone last week had the preliminary figures. When you, when you, when you know what the figures are coming out, you, you don't basically like the fact when the government changes the figures the next week to where unemployment has went down. Mm -hmm. And everyone knows unemployment went up. And EU deal for Spain, Italy boys markets, but details sketchy. No, there are no details. For example, Spain, Spain can't pay it back. And if Spain can't pay it back, I mean, it, means, it, it basically just means uh, like Greece, there's going to be another problem in Spain in a couple of months when the well, what will happen is they'll toss the government out that is running Spain like they did in, in Greece. The Greek government only got a consensus because they promised they were going to renegotiate the deal. Merkel said there's no renegotiation, so guess what's happening in Greece right now? They're getting ready to toss the newly elected government out and hold another referendum. This time it's got to go with the people to say no deal whatsoever. Consumer spending stalls morale at six month low. Don't worry. Obama just put out today consumer spending is, uh, is, uh, is, is growing rapidly and uh, remember this is an election year. They will say anything they have to to get people to buy in. The problem is last week's, uh, actually it was Monday, that basically it's not since George Bush have prices for groceries at the grocery store been as low as they are as on this 4th of July. No. Mm. Milk was up. Corn was up, hot dogs were up, ice cream was up, beer was up. You want to name anything that wasn't up except gas, and gas is a bucket gallon more than it was last year. And Greek militant group claims Microsoft attack. Yeah, because they're trying to shut Microsoft down because Microsoft... Oh, really? Uh, Microsoft is one of that part of that 1% of the United States, but here we're going to flip-flop Obama. Doesn't Microsoft Bill Gates contribute money to my campaign? And they say yes, and he said... Well, I think we should cut out the attacks until after I'm elected. Mm -hmm. And strong quake hits remote western China, USGS. Yeah, and they all know what's causing. I mean, there's a simple fact. That, I mean, I, you had to go to a darn T. Uh, okay, if you're getting better information off the sci fi channel than you are out of the news media, you're in bad shape. Basically, they discovered there's a reason for seismic activity around the world because the world is draining. The, uh, the earth for oil, and when that oil is drained out, it leaves a cavern, and earth, basically, er, basically everything it hoards a vacuum and it closes in. So guess what happens when you have these great big cavernous areas that there's nothing in anymore? They collapse, it causes an earthquake, and it's going to continue. The more oil we drain out, see, water actually comes back, because you everybody want much of oil, it never does. And UN publishes report on North Korea sanctions violations. Yeah. When don't they violate something? <laughs> and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it basically, it used to be only believe part of what you see and hear today. When it comes to news media, right or left, believe absolutely nothing they're telling you. It's probably somewhere in between. Yeah, not even anymore. Um.